Hello everyone, Sierra Games here, and today we are going to be playing some Darkest Dungeon. We're going to be continuing our playthrough of Darkest Dungeon. And uh, I don't know why I said and, we're just playing Darkest Dungeon. Uh, but I also have, I'll open it later, but I got a, a, a Amazon package. Oh yeah. <laughs> So I'll be opening that later um, and showing you guys what's inside because I don't even know what's inside, but maybe in a quest or two we'll, we'll open up the, the mystery box. But uh, man, I'm looking disheveled. I went on a hike today. You guys will hear, hear more about that later. Very exciting. I'm, I'm very tired and my nose is slightly sunburned, so <laughs> I'm just, I'm just a whole... I'm, a, I'm just a whole mess today. But uh, now we get to relax and play some Darkest Dungeon this evening. So I'm looking forward to playing that with you guys today. And it is that time of day where the blinds, like my windows open. My room gets very hot, as some of you may well know. Uh, it's like a sauna in here, so I need the window open. And my computer is right in front of the window. So it's that time of day, you know, six o'clock where the sun is right in front of my apartment window here and the wind's kind of blowing and the combination of those two sometimes makes the light shine in my eyes. <laughs> so if, you know, you can see it right, right here, right here, it's showing itself, but uh, hopefully it's not too bothersome. It'll go away in the next hour or so. It usually goes away before seven o'clock, so apologies beforehand in case you're wondering if I can uh, change the fact that the light is uh, getting into my eyes. I cannot. <laughs> I should be moving though uh, at the end of July. Is it July already? I think it's it's all still the end of June, huh? Man, time is going by so slowly. I should be moving at the end of July and I'm going to be getting a cool new setup and I've just been dreaming of all, you know, the, the beauty that is not sitting in front of a window when I'm streaming. <laughs> It's going to be amazing. We're going to be facing a wall, probably. So I don't have to worry about all this crazy lighting getting in my eyes. Uh, but I digress. Let's uh, get started. Let's play some uh, Darkest Dungeon. And maybe after a dungeon or so, um, a dungeon or two, I should be more precise, uh, we'll go ahead and open uh, my surprise package. And we'll see, we'll see what's inside. I'm really excited to uh, open it. Because I do not know what is in it. I have an Amazon wish list, and I put like a bunch of a bunch of different things: food, books, you know, hats, earrings, you know, all that kind of stuff. Either hedgehog, Twitch, or streaming related. So uh, it's going to be very exciting. Anyways, uh, let's let's uh, stop meandering and get into this. I'm a little bit afraid that uh, something bad's going to happen because it's been a while since something bad has happened in this game. Um, we've been doing fairly well, and uh, it looks like we also have a new event where one of our characters can return to the living. Which is crazy, because we just had this event, I think, two weeks ago? So, I guess we uh, can either take uh, Cardinal or Percy. As you can tell, <laughs> I'm really good at killing my own jesters. I don't know how to use a jester, apparently. They're just so squishy, and all the enemies want to want to kill the jesters. I have no idea why. <laughs> so we're gonna save one of our jesters and uh, bring him back to the world of the living. Uh, let's see who's higher level. You're level one, and you're level one. Okay. So I guess then it just depends who has the most skills unlocked. In which case. Oh, you have the same amount of skills unlocked. Both of you still have two skills that are unlocked. Uh, does anybody have a really bad uh, a negative effect? You kind of do. Obsessed with sainthood. Nope, sorry. Yeah, we're, we're going to pick uh, Percy with his lazy eye. That's not that bad. All right, Percy, welcome back to the land of the... Wait, is it... How do I, how do I bring him back to life? Is this working? Wait, drag him. Click him. Why isn't it working? Land of the living, if I can drag you somehow. Huh. 
Maybe I have to click back into it. Hey, Jake, how are you doing? <laughs> Live long and prosper. Yep. <laughs> um, I was just, I, uh, a couple weeks ago, I ended up getting uh, Year 5, Star Trek Year 5, I think is what it's called. It's a new comic book about, um, you know, the fifth year of Star Trek, the original series. And, uh, you know, all fan made and stuff, but it is fantastic. And uh, there is this one phrase that I completely forgot about um, that the Vulcans, like, say. It's, like, their philosophy. And it's uh, I-D-I-C. And I, I totally forgot what it was. But it, in one of the original episodes, um, Spock mentions I-D-I-C. And uh, seeing your emote, live long and prosper, um, you know, L-L-A-P, uh, reminded me of I-D-I-C. And that means infinite diversity and infinite combinations <laughs> which uh you know i did some digging and it's just it's so perfect especially for um you know uh like special education or like people with disabilities and it's just like such a positive kind of outlook and just accepting all people you know just with everything that's going on in the world um so i thought that was really cool idic infinite diversity um infinite combinations it was in one of the comics and i looked at it and i'm like how do i not know this vulcan terminology because i you know i rewatched the star trek original series episodes because i i find them amazing <laughs> and uh yeah they only mention in like one or two episodes though so it's not like a big big thing uh but it is in this comic book which is really really cool <laughs> so a little bit of uh Star, what am I doing? Star Trek trivia. Sprinkled. Sprinkle there. Sprinkle of knowledge. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. <laughs> Just gonna drink my lemonade really quick here. Oh! You were playing some board games and card games. Awesome, Jake! Making it rain. <laughs> I was trying to be like, um... What is it? That salt guy? What's that salt guy? And he drops some salt like this, sprinkles it in. I was doing that with knowledge, with Star Trek trivia. <laughs> Dropping some Star Trek trivia in the, you know, in, in, in the pot. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to say it's like salt. <laughs> Someone got too drunk in your in your group of friends. Oh yeah, there's always that one person, right? Like it's a little bit too drunk. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I know someone like that that gets so drunk, and uh, we will be at like his house or something, and he'll just refuse to, you know, he doesn't want to use the toilet, so he'll go outside in his backyard and pee. <laughs> It's so, like, unnecessary, but he only does this when he's drinking, I think. It's just, you know, it's not like anyone can see him or anything. It's, the, the fence, the yard is pretty closed in. But I guess that's just the, the benefit of uh, being a guy, I guess. You could just walk around and mark your territory. <laughs> not go in the toilet. Anyways, that's enough of that. I'm going to stop talking about about peeing everywhere. And uh, we're going to continue and figure out why I can't uh, revive my people from the graveyard, even though it says I can. Huh. Did I read that wrong? Hmm. Hey, Max. How's it going? Oh, Krabby. Thank you so much for the host, Krabby. And happy birthday again. Was your birthday yesterday or is it today or we can have this whole week be your birthday week crappy i don't mind that <laughs> uh, yesterday okay okay so i was there initially yeah i was there on the on the special day <laughs> do i get extra friend points for that <laughs> extra birthday points Okay, so what's going on here that I can't... Why can't I grab these people from the dead? I have enough space, so 16 out of 21 in my roster. So I have enough space, but I can't 
click and drag anybody from the graveyard. Isn't that weird? It's glowing like I should be able to. Um, next I must be doing something wrong. I mean, I'm, I don't mind too much if I'm not able to revive them from the dead, but I think it's kind of misleading that the game's saying that I, that I can raise him from the dead. Are you lying to me, game? What's going on here? Cavern, hi! I am doing well. Oh, you're asking me how I like the game. <laughs> okay, sorry. I looked at Mex's comment, and then I looked at your ca comment, Cavern. I'm just letting you know, Cavern, I'm, I'm, I'm having a good day. <laughs> I'm doing good. <laughs> now, in terms of me liking the game, I, I, I'm liking it so far, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm having a good time with it. We're just playing it once a week, every Saturday evening, and it's been going well so far. We're playing on the easy difficulty, but I think that's fine, since I'm wrapping my head around everything and uh, getting the basics down. Um, so yeah, but so far, so good. So far, so good. I'm trying to figure out why this event says that says that I can bring someone back from the dead, but it's not letting me. Oh, unless I already did it. Oh my god. I'm so stupid. I'm, uh, I am ignorant. I did it before. My bad. My bad. I, I remember I took grout chat. Okay. So we didn't get the same event twice. Twice in, a, in two weeks. Okay. We're good. Because you can see I already put everyone on breaks. Sorry for, uh, misunderstanding for a whole... Like three minutes there. <laughs> Let's go into a dungeon and forget about this. Oh, it's 2 a.m. over there? Wait, so your birthday was, is today. Krabby, it could still be your birthday if you go by Pacific Standard Time. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna still think that it's your birthday. <laughs> we can still celebrate here. Got you takeaway in two games on the PS4. Ooh, what games did you get on the PS4? I am curious. Okay. Let's see. What are we going to do? I'm thinking that we can do another veteran mission. I don't know if I want to kill a boss right now, though. Activate three protective wards. The power of the fish folk grows with every moon. Light the ancient wards and dry, dra <laughs> drain some of the natural power that they draw upon. All right. Terraria, yes. And then Diablo 3, that's awesome. That, those are, those are some, two solid games you can put so many hours into. That's awesome. Okay, so how many level three guys do we have left? We got two, uh, three, four. Yeah, you know, we could probably make this work. Uh, or I could just wait for everyone to be, to feel better. Hmm, hmm. You know, let's go ahead and do a search 90% of the rooms mission. Uh, because that's a little straightforward. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll just do that. It's still going to be a slightly difficult mission, but we'll put all of our level threes and level two characters, uh, on it. And I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. It's, it's, it's nothing. <laughs> Completely fine. All right, you go there. Malibus. My love, you will go back there. Be the healer that I know you can be. Oh, Popo! Oh, I gotta have Popo in here. We're, we're going very melee heavy for this. Um, Abomination. You know, the Abomination can be good. He can stun from back here. He can also, you know, vomit on them and make them feel gross. So, that, that's positive. I'm happy about that. Um... Yeah, you're just straight up attacking, and you can do more damage against marked targets. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. Does it... We don't really have anybody that marks, huh? Yeah, you're just straight up healing. Hmm. Can you mark anybody with any of your abilities? Doesn't look like it. What 
do you do? Hmm. You know, I'm sure... I'm sure this team will be fine. We don't got that many, like, good combos going, but, you know, they'll, they'll just brute force their way through it. Go team. <laughs> as long as Mirabelle's gonna heal, I'm not... I'm not particularly worried. Maybe I should be. But I'm not... Not worried at all. It's a medium length dungeon. We need all the food. <laughs> all the torches. I'm afraid of the dark. Good thing I'm playing Darkest Dungeon. You're playing Necromancer? Oh my gosh, that's what I played too, Crappy, when I was playing uh, Diablo 3. <laughs> yeah, Necromancer is definitely, uh, definitely a fun one. Um, okay. Yep. 12 torches. Okay, maybe not that much food. <laughs> um, hmm. Yeah, that, this should be good. Uh, let's go. Skeletons with high protection are susceptible to blight attacks. Fun fact. Pace out the halls of your lineage once familiar. Now, Oren. All right, we gotta fight, fight in the hallway. Let's do this. While our torch is bright, please. Okay. Oh, I love surprising the spiders. Yeah, nothing on me, spiders. Okay. So first thing we're gonna do is we are going to. Don't miss. <laughs> We're gonna miss first. There we go. I love flight. I love damage over time. It is the best. You guys let me know if the music's too loud. Otherwise, I'll, I'll keep it like this. Maybe I can turn it down a smidge, but <clears throat> only if it's an issue. So, today... I, I mentioned this before, but I went on a hike, and I am so tired. <laughs> I did put gel in my hair, but uh, as the hike went on, my hair just kind of lost its life. My hair represented how exhausted I was getting during the hike. It was just, uh, I went with like a small group of friends. We were all wearing masks and staying apart and stuff, but they, they wanted to go on like a little bit of a hike to like this hike that I haven't been to before, to Mushroom Cave. And uh, I was really excited for Mushroom Cave because the name Mushroom Cave, I thought we were gonna be seeing some really cool mushrooms and stuff, you know. Uh, but first off, the cave was closed. And uh, when I found that out, I was really disappointed. And second off, I guess it's called Mushroom Cave, but the reason that it's Mushroom Cave is because people do mushrooms in the cave <laughs> there's no mushrooms in the cave <laughs> but everyone calls it mushroom cave and i'm like i need to see this for myself but it was like completely blocked off anyways i that's the story of mushroom cave it was really disappointing to to find out that uh there's not actually mushrooms in the cave oh my god did you see that 19 damage holy crud Oh my gosh, Linesy is teetering on the the edge of death. He's uh about to what's a what's a good pun with the word line? He's about to cross the line to death? No, that doesn't make sense. Anyways, uh maybe we should try to save him. Oh my gosh. No! Oh, oh, okay, we're fine, we're fine. Okay, you go ahead and you heal, you heal Linesy. We're gonna be healing him for a long time. Even then, one bad attack can send him over the edge, just like that. I swear, I swear if you die from blight, I'm turning, I'm turning this train around. We're leaving this dungeon and we were only here for like one minute. Oh, uh, what's the probability of getting owned in, like, the first couple of seconds of entering a dungeon? With oh, thank goodness. Alright. Okay, these guys are gonna die, so that's fantastic. And now, 
Line Z, please. Hold fast or expire. Okay, you're fine. You're fine. It's just a little bit of a, uh, you know, a little bit of poison in your veins. You, you can handle it. Uh, let's see. What can I do? I guess I can just keep on healing. What am I gonna even do once we get out of battle, though? It's not like I can keep te healing him. And I don't have any anti-venom. Oh, there's an anti-venom. Perfect. Use it right now. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. You just, you just go ahead and eat all the food, alright? Okay, yeah. For, for food. <laughs> you're gonna have a whole meal and you're gonna be fine. You're fine. Um, so I guess we'll just have to heal him. Death's door. Recovery. Ugh. Man. Now he's just like debuffed for the rest of our, uh, the rest of our time here. I mean, we could take, uh, what are our options? We could take an early camp trip, uh, but then we wouldn't be able to use it later on. Because if it's a medium length mission, we can only camp once and regain our health. Um, so I don't think that's exactly necessary. Or we could, like, turn around and quit the quest, but that'll raise up everyone's, you know, stress unnecessarily as well. So, we're gonna have to deal with this, I guess. And just, uh, just hope Linesy doesn't get hit with another big attack. Can Popo um, mark himself? Yeah, he can. Okay, so enemies will attack him if he uses repost the first turn. That's good to know. Uh, Abomination, why don't you read these books? Manslayer. Excellent. <laughs> in any other circumstance, circumstance, uh, in any other game, that would be concerning, but Manslayer is pretty good. That's a pretty good perk to have. Um, yeah, besides the cave being closed, the hike was pretty good. We found like an abandoned car that was like covered in uh, leaves and stuff. And obviously it's been there for a long time because there's like signatures from like 2016 and stuff on it. I think there's one from 2012 as well. So it's just like this really old car. We took some pictures in front of it. It was pretty cool. Um, what else? There was also like a bunch of fire ants. So I, I liked watching the fire ants. My friends were a little bit grossed out, but <laughs> I was just... Uh, you know, kind of looking at the fire ants. I, I, I uh, got really lucky I wasn't bitten because I was pretty, pretty darn close to like this hole that they were coming out of. Ants and bugs really interest me, but they don't interest my friends. So <laughs> I'm constantly stopping and like holding up the party by uh, looking at bugs and stuff. Yeah, it's not that they're grossed out. They're afraid of getting bitten, getting uh, bit, especially by fire ants because that's what they were. They were very big red ants. And I think, I think those are fire ants. So I, I can understand. It's understandable. Um, let's go ahead and spit on these guys. That guy in the middle is blue because he's invisible. That means we can't attack him directly, but we can attack him with the uh, AOE attacks, area of effect attacks. So that's good. Um, let's go ahead and stun him <laughs> or not. <laughs> oh no, please no. Okay, good resist, good resist. Okay. Marked, okay, that's fine. Uh, we're gonna do repose. So we can mark ourselves and get ready to counterattack if the opportunity presents itself. Woo! Nice! That was fantastic. Oh yeah, he's dead next turn. Alright, let's do a specific heal on him. I was gonna do a group heal for Popo, but he's he's fine. Popo will be okay for a while. Alright. Uh stun again? We can try a stun again. Yes, perfect. Yeah, exactly. They won't bother you if you don't bother them. Uh, the only bug that I'm really afraid of, uh, I, I think I said, I think I said yesterday I wasn't afraid of any bugs, but then I thought of one. I'm kind I'm afraid of bees. <laughs> 
Growing up, uh, I went to, what was it, like some sort of Halloween fair as a kid, and I got stung, stung by bees everywhere. I was, I was miserable, I was crying, and the bees were just mean. So when I see a bee, I kind of panic. Usually I stand still, though. I'm not, uh, a decisive I'm not crazy enough to, like, run away or anything, um, but I will walk briskly away or just stand still in utter horror if uh, a bee comes too close to me. <laughs> I actually had it uh, last year when I was doing summer camp where a bee landed on me and he wouldn't, he wouldn't move. He didn't leave me for, like, 30 minutes. He just stayed on my arm. And the... And the kids were screaming and freaking out, and I'm like, please, I'm like, please just leave me alone. Go over there. <laughs> Go over there. Don't panic. Don't try to, you know, swat the, the, the bee away, because they're trying to help me by swatting it away from me. <laughs> hey, Bobandal, thank you so much for the host. I appreciate it. <laughs> How are you doing, Bobandal? Were you playing, uh, were you playing more of, uh, the Pogo game today? But yeah, the bee was on me and like they wanted to, the kids wanted to crush it or, you know, have me run and have the bee kind of fly off of me. But I was too afraid. So I stood there for 30 minutes and let the bee sit on me. And I was, I was in a state of uh, terror. <laughs> it really sucked. <laughs> I remember it very vividly. All right, we're going to do a group heal. A little bit of healing for everyone can't hurt. Uh... Yeah, if I damage you, you'll just die of poison. So now all we got is this, uh... This guy with the bow in the back. What's that called? A crossbow? Right? Oh, okay. You're playing pogo stuff. Nice, nice. I like watching you play it. I, I, I lurk a lot of the time and I sneak on in and watch you play uh, pogo stuff for a while. I can definitely see the allure. It's a very cute game. How long have you been uh, playing Pogo Stock? Have you been playing it for a while? Okay, we're gonna try to stun him, buy us some time. Eight damage is nothing to sneeze at either. Alright, sweet. This is how a life is taken. Alright, this is going good. This is as good of a fight as I could have hoped for. You know, we wanted to... You know, A, have Lion Z, our first guy here, survive, and B, heal him. So, <clears throat> I think we've accomplished both of those tasks in this fight. Our team is doing exceptionally well. 300 hours. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you must find the game to be, like, uh, relaxing then, right? Is that what makes you, like, come back to it uh, time and time again? As the fiend falls, like even with my most favorite games, I can't play it for more than a hundred hours. I think that's just how my, how my personality kind of is that I can't play something for more than a hundred hours. <laughs> but that is amazing that you've put three hundred hours in Pogo stock. Hey, plastic! <laughs> I mean, Poco Stack is a little bit funner than getting over it, right? I've it, you get you can get like combos and stuff, and then like compare scores with your friends and everything. I think it, it's a lot of a happier kind of ambiance to it, like a, I guess a more lighthearted game uh, than getting over it appears to be to me. So, but yeah, it's definitely very very skill based, like getting over it. I've seen a uh, Bobandel play it quite a bit. Okay, we just got 750 money from that. So we need to explore 90% of the rooms. Uh, on the bottom right, we can see our map. And, uh, oh, wait. Uh, uh, hold on. <laughs> I have it right here. Should I not shake it? <laughs> I have it here. We will open it. I was waiting. We will open it after, uh... I, I finished this dungeon. That That's the plan. I wanted to give it like an hour into the stream before I open it. I'm very excited. I don't know what it is. <laughs> okay. 
So 90% of rooms means that we can skip two rooms. I think the two rooms I want to skip are these two down here. Just because if we go to this last room, it will make us backtrack more, and I don't want to backtrack. So that's the only reason for that. So let's go straight across this way, then we'll back up. Oh, we're in this room. My bad. Oh, we're going to have to backtrack. Whoops. <laughs> Oh yeah, I should have, when I was up here, I should have went to the room to the right and not gone south, but, uh, oh well. We got time. <laughs> A fortune waiting to be spent. Ooh, what is this? A confession booth. <gasps> uh, Bono, you can go in there. Oh, he's just a little upset. That's okay. Sorry I made you go in there. Bono. Bono? No, I'm pretty sure it's Bono. <laughs> Alright, sounds good, plastic. So I guess Camel and I are streaming tomorrow. It's been like two weeks because his internet's been so bad. I don't know what we're playing. Uh, Barrow something? I, I don't know anything about it. So it's going to be... Uh, what's it called? A surprise tomorrow. <laughs> He's told me the name of it, but uh, I've already forgotten. If only treasure could staunch the flow of other worlds. New metals are synthesized. Ooh, new metals like gold. Very new. Okay, we gotta pop some torches. I'm scared. Right, we're running out of torches, but that's okay. Every little thing is gonna be all right. And then once it gets a little bit darker, I'm wondering when we should camp. We should probably camp once we get down here. And then we only have like four more rooms to explore because we can, you know, Get our health up, lower our stress, and then we can have our torch fully lit as well to, to save torches. Okay. Until then. Ah! We're fine. It's fine. A holy altar. Yay, you're buffed! What did you get? Plus 20% damage. Nice. That is very nice. Okay, go in the room with a full bright torch. There's nothing in here. Sometimes when I backtrack, there's like monsters where there weren't monsters before. So that is a possibility when backtracking. You get more stressed and monsters can start appearing that weren't there before. Okay. Once we backtrack, we are gonna go north and set up camp soon. Man, I've got a bunch of snackers on my team. Didn't you guys just eat, like, two rooms ago? Note to self, I gotta bring even more food next time. <laughs> bring more beef jerky. What's your guys' uh, favorite snack food? For, like, if you're hiking or if you're having a road trip? I guess my favorite is is beef jerky. But I'm very, I'm very specific about uh, the types of beef jerky that I eat. Like, it can't be too, uh, what's it called? Um, you know, hard to chew. Can't be too hard to chew. It has to be kind of tender. And, you know, not all beef jerky is created the same. <laughs> some beef jerky is just bad. And I don't know. Or maybe I'm just like some sort of beef jerky, uh, oh, thank goodness that worked. <laughs> damage, of course, on my healer. Maybe I should have put Popo or Linesy there. Whoops. Oh, well. Well, our healer's looking especially buff right now. Oh, don't step on the trap. Don't break your mother's back. Uh, alright. <laughs> Mind that such missteps are the exception. <laughs> sorry, Bonesy. Not the rule. So sorry. <laughs> but, uh, my favorite flavor of, uh, beef jerky... I think would have to be I really like like jalapeno flavor and I'm not like one for liking spice too much but uh 
If it's like light jalapeno on beef jerky, mwah, chef's kiss. It's really good. So, Cavern, you like Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Oh, you're one of those cereal snackers. When I first saw somebody eating cereal as a snack, I thought it was so, like, so strange. I, uh, I always thought growing up that it was only supposed to be with milk. <laughs> so when I first saw someone eating, eating it uh, out of a bag, my mind was blown. But yeah, Cinnamon Toast Crunch can be definitely a really good, uh, really good snack. I also see people eat Cheerios, but then I just think of babies eating Cheerios. <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Oh my gosh, you snackers! We're gonna have nothing to eat when we camp! Oh my gosh. This, this team is just so hungry. It's because we're talking about snacking so much. Claustrophobic. I, I understand. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> And then yours, yours, Jake, is, uh, oh, okay, specific type of jerky. Golden Island Korean Barbecue Pork Jerky. That's a mouthful. <laughs> that is certainly a mouthful. It sounds good, though. It's, I've, I've heard of the flavor Korean barbecue before, but I couldn't tell you what it tastes like. Okay, yeah, I am near a Costco. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll look out for it. I actually don't have a Costco card right now. There's this new store that kind of popped up in my area, and it's like Costco, except you don't need a card to get in. <laughs> so me and all of the other college students that are in my area, or, you know, just, just anybody, they all shop there now. <laughs> so it's like uh, Costco people versus people who go to this one big store that doesn't need a membership. I still go to Costco, though, to get my, uh, uh, they have, like, the, I, get, I got my glasses from there, is what I'm trying to say, which seems so random. They, uh, it's a big store, and they also can, uh, prescribe prescription glasses in case you want to get some cinnamon toast crunch and then, uh, quickly go in for your eye exam. You can all, you can do that all in Costco. All right. Okay, everyone sees the trap. 60%, 90%. Why didn't I use you before? Because I'm a fool, that's why. <laughs> All right. Light it up. Okay, we got three more rooms to go. I guess we can rest in the next room. Hmm. I mean, unless these guys are going to want to snack again. All right. Whoa! Gargoyles! <gasps> I shouldn't be so excited. <laughs> wow, they're beautiful. Okay, and they can be blighted. Heck yeah, even better. Okay, one of them, or, oh, I blighted both of them. Sweet. All right. Do these guys do bleed or something? This doesn't look like it. It looks like they push. Looks like they were trying to put, push lines each of the back, but he was able to kind of fend them off. Hold strong. Okay, they're good. Uh, let's pull this guy hither. Beautiful. Ren for the old gods. So many really good dodges. This is great. We can stun. Uh, or we can just heal everyone. Let's heal everybody. Okay, now I want to start getting like a really cool repost going on here. Perfect. Now one gargoyle is gonna die pretty soon. So even better. I'm trying to think uh, what other cereals would I eat as a snack besides uh, cinnamon toast crunch. And I would probably eat something else that I've eaten besides you know this is gonna sound weird actually it might be okay uh, cookie crisp is pretty good oh my gosh uh, when I discovered cookie crisp as a kid the cereal with like the little tiny cookies in it that was like the best thing ever I absolutely loved cookie crisp cereal growing up 
It's been so long since I've had any though. So cookie crisp is good. Um, I, also, I also used to eat cocoa rice krispies. I don't know if that's their specific name, but I don't know if I'd eat that as a snack. I'd much rather have like miniature cookies <laughs> as a snack and just have like a hundred of them. <clears throat> Oh, I don't know if they still exist, Jake. I, I hope they do. Oh my gosh, someone's got to go to the store and check. And check if they're still around. I I think I have seen them at the store. I used to eat also eat uh, Frosted Flakes, but nothing beats some good old uh, Cookie Crisp. <laughs> cookie, cookie Crisp is amazing. Oh gosh, the dodge. We could have totally killed her just then. We're still good with our poison and stuff. Broken. Maintain the offensive. Alright, let's heal our friend Bonal here. And then we can have Popo crush this lady. Beautiful. Alright, now all we have to worry about is that uh, guy with the huge claws in the front. Quakes. Awesome. Great, great job. Nine damage. Double stun. <laughs> As if that's a thing. That'd be great if that was a thing. Alright, now if I camp here, am I gonna regret it? An ornate sarcophagus. It looks locked. Okay. Oh, it's trapped! Ow! <laughs> oh, well. It's okay. <laughs> Cookie Crisp was made in 1977. Oh, wow. It's been a lot. It's been around for a long time then. Alright. Firewood. Do we have enough to eat? Oh, thank goodness we do. Okay, because if we didn't have to, we'd be starving and just hurt ourselves more. All right. So let's uh, sit here and... Do we have anybody that can protect us and make sure we don't get uh, bombarded? Uh-oh, we don't. That's not good. Huh. And this is how we do it. Self only. Plus 10% crit and plus 8%. Or 10, plus 10 accuracy, plus 8% crit. Man, somebody's definitely gonna attack us in the middle of the night, isn't, aren't they? <laughs> I'm just saying. We don't have anything to, uh, keep, anyone to keep guard. Which is concerning. Um... Tracking. Oh man. My 15% stress. Alright, we'll just have to hope hope we don't get attacked. The way is lit. Oh the path Ooh. is clear. <laughs> we require All right, we're good. strength to follow it. We're good. I, I need to really uh take more care to uh give my characters camping skills where they won't get surprised. I have to see if he, any of these guys can have that kind of skill. I don't know off the top of my head. All right, bookshelf, go in, go in there. Better than a trap. Yeah, yeah, it is. All right, doesn't look like there's any danger in our future. Strawberry frosted shredded wheat. I have never, I mean, I know what shredded wheat is, but I've never tried it myself. It, uh... Is it really that good? Hmm. Maybe, maybe I'll need to try it. It's like one of those cereals that I look at and I, I know it's healthy for you. I think it's just because it has the word wheat in the name. <laughs> so I would feel good about eating it. Which is, uh, you know, uh, a solid thing when selecting what you want to eat. Is Packs does it look healthy? Loot are often low on supplies. All right getting really dark. 
We did it! Woo! I'm leaving. The great I'm out of here. Belong to us. We got this sweet. I thought it was a belt. Secrets they hold. <laughs> I thought it was a belt. It's a crown. We got a sweet, sweet solar crown now. Uh, it's rare. Minus 20% stress if our torch is above 75, and you better believe our torch is always above 75. It'd be weird if it wasn't. Obsessed with killing. Okay. Nervous. I would be nervous too. <laughs> Man, spasm of entrails. Everybody. Everyone's having bowel issues. Competition fosters <laughs> skill and confidence. Idle arbalist gain one resolve level. Oh, wow. That's really good. So it would be her. And she'd be level four. Sweet. Okay. Oh, and Mantel. Perfect. That's beautiful. All right. So... How is everybody in terms of stress? Hmm. Some of us could, could uh, rest a little bit more if we wanted to. Like, uh... Hold on, let's move you. And then you can go there. Yeah, that's good. Right, and then Bono. Oh wait, that's wrong wrong place. Actually, Linesy needs to get some disease worked on. There you go. Alright, and then we go here. And Bono can uh, hang out at the bar and drink 1,375 gold worth of drinks. Which, uh... You know, I don't know what kind of drinks they're serving. Really expensive beer is the answer. That is insane. That's an insane amount of money. All right. What's he doing? Something with a potion? Oh, right, right, right. I just put him there. Okay. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um. Here we go. Sanctuary. Uh. If religious, prevents nighttime ambush. And she's religious, right? How do I know if she's religious? I'm gonna assume she is. We're gonna buy that. Perfect. Good to have, good to have. Okay, and then if we have enough crests and stuff, we could upgrade something, but it doesn't really look like we have enough. Hmm. No, we're still gonna have to save up. That's alright. We can go on another mission. Look how much train how many trinkets I have. It's beautiful. <laughs> so many trinkets. Alright. So Plastic, you're back. Okay, I'm gonna open uh, the package right now. Whoa. My Amazon package. And I do not know what's in here. I'm very excited to find out though. Let's see if I got some scissors. I might not have any scissors. Scissors, where are you? Uh, I just cleaned out my desk. You'd think it would make me more organized. It doesn't. It's my ASMR. Watch me just like cut the this part of my microphone. I totally would do that. So I should probably stop playing with these scissors and hold them safely. All right, let's cut into this. Hold on, I'm getting tangled up in my my earbud cord. Whoa. I think it's a box in a box. Did you get me a box? <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. Tape, help, I'm covered in cardboard. All right. Ooh, nice. Actually, oh, oh, it made a nice noise. Okay, hold on. Okay. Okay, you ready? 
Okay, I'm afraid it's gonna make a loud noise now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It made a nice noise before. I, I surprised myself. Okay, one more time. One more time. Sorry, I peaked my microphone. <laughs> oh my God. I'm gonna kill myself. Did you hear see my hair fly up? <laughs> right in my eye. Right in my eye. Hi, Void. You are right in time for me to open this package that I was sent. Oh. <laughs> the package packaging is better than the gift. No, I shouldn't say that. We still need to know what the gift is. There's a uh, box inside of the box. Ooh, boxception. I'm always worried that I'm gonna end up, uh, like, using the scissors too much and then poking into whatever whoa, whoa, it is. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh, look! Country peach passion tea! Caffeine free! I could totally drink this right now! <gasps> oh my god. Oh my goodness. Enjoy your gift oh from oh plastic. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, plastic. We got, we have enough country, country passion tea, or sorry, country, country peach passion for years. <laughs> I wish I could just have like one on my Amazon wish list. I know I'm gonna like this though. Because I love tea. I mean, I love tea. I love peaches. Oh, yay! <laughs> oh, that's exciting. I can swim in, in country peach passion. I can fill up my bathtub with country peach passion. <laughs> Just a bathtub full of it. Would that be good for your skin? Probably not. I can just drink it. No, that's nasty. Not that nasty if it's in a bathtub. But uh, anyways, I digress. I'm going to heat up some water. And it takes a couple minutes to heat up the water. So I'll start the water. And I will review this country peach fat passion. I wish there was more bubble wrap. <laughs> anyways, thank you so much again, Plastic. This is amazing. I got so much peach tea. Okay, so I, I have a lot, a lot of cardboard on me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna heat up some tea and tell you guys how it tastes. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back.
I'm back. Uh, so don't worry, I'm not boiling water and just walking away from the stove. Uh, we have like this water. I'm showing you the shape of it. It's a rectangle. It's a water tank, a water cooler. So uh, when I say word around the water cooler, I'm talking about when I talk to my roommates, but I, I digress. There's a heating function. So I just press the old button and I need to check on it in a couple of minutes. But plastic, which, which mug should I use? I brought two, two options. Should I drink out of my face today? Or should I drink out of my, I'm just a little on hedge today. I thought, I thought you should choose since you were kind enough to get me the country, country, country peach, country peach tea. Okay. The face one. All right. Good choice. Good choice. I actually got this as a, uh, there's a piece of tape on it. I've never removed this tape. Um, I actually got this from one of my classmates. Who knows that I stream because I talk about it a lot and you guys are so fabulous. So they got me this for, uh, I think for my birthday. I was their note taker, so I helped them out with, uh, you know, class and stuff like that. And they found my little icon on Twitch and they made it a, a cup. So I didn't even make this. It was uh, my classmate who uh, graciously made this for me. So, and it's like perfect because the inside is like, you know, my channel's color, or one of the colors, you can see, I really like pink. <laughs> I really like pink, so it ended up coming out really well, so that's the story behind this mug. My One of my really good uh, friends and classmates uh, made this for me. <laughs> um, she was sad though because it only printed on the front and she imagined that it would print on the side, so when I drink out of it, I have to drink like this. <laughs> I have to hold it and then drink where I'm holding it. So you guys can see me drinking out of my face. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so I actually just bought some tape, but I am going to, <clears throat> uh, I'm going to stretch. Got the tea right here. So before I start playing, I want to make sure that the tea is all nice and ready so we can have it cool down while we're in the dungeon. So what I'm going to do is, um, I have a really bad memory. It's just how I've always been. So I always like to uh, tape and there's tape on my mug. So it was meant to be. I always tape the little messages I get from you guys um, onto whatever you send me so I can always remember. Um, so let me just tape it somewhere. I will tape it on the sign here from plastic. I always tape it somewhere on the box. Oh, <laughs> that tape is old. I brought more tape. All the way over here. <laughs> okay. Very fascinating, I know. <laughs> We're doing stuff on this stream. Here we go. There we go. Ta -da! <laughs> now if any any of my uh, roommates want it, they'll know who it's from. <laughs> All right. Amazing. I'm very excited to try this tea. And I'm always looking for tea that's like, uh, I, I like having an equal measure of caffeine and caffeine free tea. Generally caffeine free, free though, because I love drinking tea in the evening or even when I'm not streaming, drinking tea like right before bed is really relaxing. Like, you know, watching like one of my favorite YouTube channels and just cuddling in bed with some nice uh, like tea that won't keep me up. <laughs> so this is definitely going to be a go-to for me. Let's put away the dangerous scissors because it's, you know, very dangerous and probably something's going to happen if I don't put it away. There we go. <laughs> it just had your, uh, it just had your, your, why am I I'm not looking at the box? I just taped it on the box. I'm like, where'd, where'd it go? Uh, yeah, it just says from kinetic plastic. So it says, enjoy your gift, which is, I think, a default message. And then from kinetic plastic. That's all it says on here. All right. 
And then the tea should be ready pretty soon. I could put you guys back on a BRB screen. Or you guys can look at a... Uh, look at this. <laughs> you guys can stare at one of... Uh, you guys can stare at Popo for a bit. Popo can get some time to shine. <laughs> I think it's like um, maybe one more minute until the water's done, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna go check on it really quick. I'll just keep you guys on the screen and I'll be right back. All right, I am back. I already spilt the tea on my hand. <laughs> Good thing the water doesn't get too, too hot though. It's just, uh, you know, it's hot, but it's not hot enough that it burns, which is perfect for someone like me that always, I can barely like hold the mug. That's, and it's, you know, not even filled to the brim or anything. You can see the liquid right here. I still managed to spill it, so. <laughs> So it took me a little bit longer, but it smells fabulous. I'm going to wait until it cools down a little bit because although my hand can handle the burn, I don't think my tongue can. <laughs> I don't think I should drink it until it cools it down a little bit is what I'm trying to say. Um, but I opened, I opened the country peach, you know, package. Oh, my window's being, oh, annoying. I opened the, the package. Oh, I made it way worse with the light. Pardon, just look straight at my arm while I'm talking. My elbow. Um, and it smelled like very strongly of peaches. So it's it's really nice. It smelled like, uh, kind of like peach rings, I guess. Less sugary, of course, but uh, I was assaulted with the smell of peaches. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to trying it out. Anyways, we should go ahead and do another uh dungeon dungerino <laughs> have you ever heard anyone say dungeon like that before i just started doing that now dungerino oakley dokley time to get into another dungerino um let's see we should do another veteran quest because i am feeling confident Let's do explore 90% of rooms. That sounds good. Sounds like a solid thing to do. Hughes, what do you do again? You poison and stuff? You do poison and you throw daggers. Okay, sure. You go ahead. Oh, yeah, you do blight damage. All right. Oh, but then you can do blight damage as well. Hmm. Maybe we can do some sort of, like, blight kind of team. That could be fun. Hmm. Okay, so you go back here. Grouchette can go here. And then 
Oh, Stafford is still busy, or else I'd have him be in the second row, you know? Hmm. Do we have another occultist? Hmm, check. We haven't looked at the coach. We should be looking every week. Uh, just more Vestals. Nothing super exciting. Alright, just wanted to check. Um, hmm. Who would be another good person? She can do Blight and stuff like that. Hmm. I need somebody that can heal, though. Or else I'll be nervous to go. <laughs> Aw, bye, Jake. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. Have a good rest of your weekend if I don't see you tomorrow. I'll be streaming uh, tomorrow at 7 a.m. with uh, Camel. 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. But if I don't see you then, hope you have a great rest of your, rest of your week and start of your week. Tomorrow's technically... I always have to remember that Sunday's like the start of a week, right? So, tomorrow will be the start of a new week. Anyways, I ramble. <laughs> Hot peach iced tea in the summer? Yeah. Yeah, that's like, uh, that's pretty good. Or, I mean, just even, you know, I should learn how to make, like, iced tea. Could I make that with tea bags, or is that not how tea bags work? Would I have to heat the tea bag and then put it in the fridge for a while? <laughs> not the fanciest thing. It's not like, I don't think it's, uh, what's it called? You know, brain science or anything. What is, what's the saying? Brain, it's not brain surgery. There we go. <laughs> brain science. <laughs> wow. Coming up with new, new types of science. Brain science. Oh, good job. Rocket science. Thank you. <laughs> it's, I was trying to say rocket science. You could say brain surgery too, right? Is that another saying? Like, it's not brain surgery? Because then you'd say that because you mean the opposite. Oh, wait. No, because brain surgery is really complicated. You'd say it's not to emphasize how easy something is. Same, same kind of deal, right? <laughs> Sometimes I just make up sayings on the fly. No one, no one's ever heard of the saying that I'm, that I am currently saying. So I think brain surgery is one of those things. Someone please confirm if you've ever heard someone say brain surgery. I'm no brain surgeon. That's it. That's it. <laughs> okay, you boil, you boil the water void and then you throw it in some ice. Oh, that makes sense. I was going to say, does it water it down? But, you know, it's old water, so. Huh. That's a good idea. Okay, I'm not in love with our team. He can only heal two? Uh, we're going to have to have Malibus in here again, I think. Oh, but we need her to... I'm so confused. Hold on, let me go back. Do we need her to stay behind? Oh, no. Only Arbalists need to stay behind so they can level up. Got it. Yeah, so she can go. Then you can be here. All right. And then maybe we can bring, like, a level two with us? Is that a good idea? Yes, no, maybe so. Let's see. Plus five dodge. Nervous staff. Guard. Hmm. We can do this. And then I like anything that does blight. We can also do... Let's see. Hmm. Okay, so put you here. Hold on, my brain's kind of... You can see the gears turning in my brain here. I'm probably putting way too much thought in this team comp because we're not even going to be battling a boss, but I'm trying to wrap my head around this. Um, I want flash powder. But what do I get rid of? Maybe get down because I already have protect me. Yeah. Yeah, sure. That works. Okay. 
when you use iced tea, you know it. You use another bag? Okay, so do you use two bags then for iced tea? You use one... You use one for the hot tea, and then when you put ice in, you put another one in? But then how does it, like, brew? How does that work? Oh, and for the heroes, uh, I can quickly explain this screen to you. Um, it basically tells me everything I need to know. I don't really, I haven't memorized anything yet because I'm fairly new to this game as well. Up here, you can see what position they need to be in to use their abilities. Here, you just uh, hover over any of the abilities and it's gonna show you in yellow where the character needs to be in order to use the ability. And then it will show you on the other side in red, you can see two red dots on the right side. Uh, it will show you what enemies that particular attack can reach. So. It will show you your required position and then what enemies can be attacked by that move. Um, and yeah, and then you can click on these to get rid of abilities and stuff. Every uh, character can only have four attacks and then four, like, camping skills. You make four cups at a time and add five bags. Sugar, then ice. Okay, so you do put the bags in when it's brewing hot, though, right? And then you remove them later? I just let the bags sit in there. I don't know if that's bad or not. <laughs> can, is there, can you overbrew something? Alright, we are gonna go in. Let's do it. This is a medium-length mission. I will bring... 18 food because everyone loves to sack. There we go. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of food and that's a lot of torches, I think. Each region has its own challenges. Assemble your party and supplies First accordingly. Symbols. Collect the scattered scraps of faith and give comfort to the masses. All right. So we got to gather three holy relics. Which is good. Hey, thank you so much for the for the follow, Triple Zero. Welcome to the stream. Okay, so I'm gonna go. That's a quest location. All right. Uh, I don't want to pass this room up to the north though, so we're gonna go north first, because there might be something at the end of this hallway. Be just my luck if there is. The hero reads an unsettling passage. Did it make it darker? What the heck was that? <laughs> All right, there is a trap here. Who's good at disarming traps? You're all pretty mediocre. Oh man. Sorry, Popo. I had to. I had to put you first. Oh, right, right, right. There's nothing in here. Why was I expecting something in here? All right, we're scouting. So. Curio. I also have to hover over these blue icons because sometimes it'll say Curio and other times it'll say quest location. And I've definitely messed myself up sometimes uh, by ignoring the blue and then realizing it was a it was a quest. Okay, we can back up though. Because it is not a holy relic. Onwards, my league of friends. Go, go, go. Oh yeah, someone told me that there is like a, uh, what's called, a fan made, uh, like video for each of like the characters. I still need to watch that. I forgot who told me about it. Yeah, you disarmed it! That was you! I still need to watch it. I still need to watch it, Void. Okay. Pop torch, walk on in. Ooh, nobody is in here. An ancient looking dusty idol. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. All right, we got one. Let's keep going. Oh yeah, I've heard of the mods. Mhm. Mm yeah, I have. I have heard of the mods. Uh, Smitty Smop. He uh, he plays Darkest Dungeon a lot. And uh, has he been playing Dar Darkest Dungeon? Since I'm mentioning him, I might as well. Shout him out. He was playing League of Legends? What the heck? I didn't even know he played League. What? 
Um, anyways, he plays Darkest Dungeon as well, and he has uh, some of the mods, I think. He's way better at this game than I am. <laughs> I'm very I'm very late on the Darkest Dungeon train. But better late than never, right? You can still enjoy something. Oh my gosh. I love stepping on tracks. Oh. Wow, we're really running into these things fast. We're, we are very lucky. Adventure! Oh my gosh, so many traps. Ambushed by foul inventions. Foul inventions indeed. They're everywhere. Yeah. Read it, read it. Made it super dark. Makes no sense. The light, the promise of safety. Are you surprised? Yes, you are. I come in and I have like this ball of light. <laughs> I can only imagine how how bright this must be. Radiant light? Well, what would that be comparable to? Like a, like a desk lamp facing directly into your eyes? <laughs> I'd be surprised too. Alright, um, I'm gonna go ahead and maybe use blight on this guy. Hmm. I can also blight maybe these guys in the back. We can try. Oh, resist. No. <laughs> try again. Okay, there you go. That's better. And then, I do want to stun this big guy if I can. The way is no. lit. The path is clear. Right. Time to repost. Only the strength to follow it. All right, Popo. Get those attacks so you can uh, finish them off. Destroy that was really good. Them all. all right, we'll heal Popo soon. She got debuffed. That's okay. That is okay. We're gonna go he ahead and heal our friend. Beautiful, beautiful. Maybe we should have went for that stun again. <laughs> Alright. Sweet. Two damage. Alright. Then I am gonna try to stun. I don't think we've ever seen this guy before. I'm, I'm glad that when you go to like the higher levels, there's like new enemies showing up in the dungeons. I know that's a you know, that's a very minor thing, but uh, I have 25 hours in total, 25 hours in uh, Darkest Dungeon, and I've never really got into many uh, veteran level missions, so it's, it's nice. <laughs> I feel like I'm making progress. All right, so, oh, he's more susceptible to blight right now, I think. Yeah, he is, good. Good, good, good. Blight all the way. And damage every turn, yes. Plus 7 dodge, minus 15 stress. Okay. Go ahead and heal Popo for as much as you can. That would be fantastic. What's he buffing himself with? Oh, it's done resist. Alright, we'll make him bleed then. Alright, what time is it? 7.17 and I'm still having issues with the light. Oh, my eye. <laughs> I was just talking about it uh, on the Discord, but last week I, I found... This might be TMI uh, for people who are weirded out by eyes and stuff like that. Um, but I like noticed I have like a sun damage, I think, on my eye. It's like a little bump on my eye. And uh, I thought it was from going outside, but it could be from just... <laughs> the sun sniping me while I'm sitting here streaming. Oh my gosh, wouldn't that be horrible? <laughs> if I'm indoors and I still get, you know, attacked by the sun. I can't hide anywhere. <laughs> All right. More poison, more poison. Oh yeah, he's dead. 
throw a blanket over it, but it's a... Uh, it's like a very tall window in front of me with vertical blinds. You can kind of see how the light's coming in right now, like vertically. I, there's no place to put a blanket um, or like hang one. <laughs> so, I don't know. <laughs> Adriak, hey! The dungeon, the dungeoning is going well. We are two dungeons in. I, uh,. Or two dungeons in. The wonderful plastic uh, gave me uh, some peach, some peach tea. So I'm gonna be trying that right now. Uh, so far, so good. Yeah, I'm gonna drink it right now. I always end up forgetting about tea, so this is perfect. I'm glad that I remembered because every time I drink tea on stream, it ends up being cold because it's like sitting there for two hours. Anyways, smells good. It's really, it's a really subtle flavor. I think I might have added too much water because I can taste the peach like a little bit. I'm wondering if I should, if I should double up the, the bags. Probably not right now, but maybe in the future, put two tea bags in a cup like this. Um, it tastes good though. I, I, I taste the faint, the faint uh, flavor of peach. Very much like what I smelled when I opened, when I opened the packaging. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's good. Totally, totally warm peach taste. Very delicious, very delicious. <laughs> you put aluminum foil on your bedroom windows? Wait, do you really plastic? How would that even work? Like, like cooking aluminum foil? How does it stick? I have so many questions right now. <laughs> oh yeah, Void, I've had that before too. Where you're driving and then like the sun is just right below like where your uh, sun blocker is. <laughs> I've had that, I've had that a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's always annoying. Uh, what am I gonna do? I mean, he's gonna die soon, so. You taped it to the frame? I mean, you could put anything up against the window, right? Is there a reason you specific specifically uh, picked aluminum foil to put on your window? I mean, does it reflect? Does it make the does it make the window hotter? Would would that damage your window? They're cursed champion falls. Right. Ooh, what did I pick up? A minor antique. Wow, look at this fancy, fancy plate I found. All right, what is this? Great insight. Quirk re reinforced. Oh, perfect. Extra quirky, that's what I like to see in my group of heroes. <laughs> Extra quirkiness. Oh, reflects the heat, I see, I see. That makes sense. Uh, a key. Treasures are stashed. Oh yeah. Only the first test. So much now money. Must be carried home. All right, who's in here? Hello? All right. I mean, as long as I'm not surprised, uh, that's all I care about. No! The witch doctor. How dare you push him around? <laughs> Hi. Hi, Smitty. Camel smells. <laughs> what, you can smell them through the screen? That's impressive. That is impressive. I was just talking about you, uh, like 30 minutes ago, Smitty. I was telling people that they should check you out if, uh, they want to watch someone who's good play Darkest Dungeon. <laughs> I was plugging you. Alright, um, bleed. Let's go ahead and make him bleed. And then we can make, we can miss and do something else. Um, hmm. We should probably stun somebody. Let's stun this guy. I don't like it when he does his rend of the old gods. It looks like he's gonna be able to do that again. 
Great dodge, ground chat. Great dodge. All right, Popo. Time to go in there and uh, crush that goblet. Goblet holding guy. He's drinking some, uh, what is that? Definitely not blood. He's drinking some tomato juice. He's drinking some V8. Is that what it's called? V8? Does anyone drink that? Does anyone drink that when they're not drinking? You know, alcohol? Or do people only drink V8 to mix it as a Bloody Mary? Be honest. Be honest. Who drinks V8? <laughs> Normally. Please come forward. I will not judge you. You just might need to explain yourself. And tell me in which, which interest instances you drink V8 and what's your reasoning. Oh, that's really weird, Void. Has Darkest Dungeon always made your uh, GPU uh, run hot? Or is that like just like a recent thing? It could be like an update or something, right? I can't imagine what it would be. If it's worked in the past, that is. All right. Go ahead and poison uh, V8 dude over here. Okay, he's gonna, oh, he's not gonna die. Um, da, 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 da. let's just Some heal everybody. Huh. Okay. Well, if there's a bunch of complaints about it, hopefully something, some sort of fix will come out for uh, your AMD card soon. I'm not very uh, techie. I, I couldn't even tell you what GPU stands for. <laughs> but, uh... If it's a recent problem, people are pretty good at finding out how to fix it. <laughs> Generally speaking, right? I wish I was more computer savvy. <laughs> I am not, though. <laughs> you know nothing about computer stuff either. <laughs> oh, whoa, did he get stressed out? In the face of chaos. Wait, what just happened? One. Uh oh. Wait, why did he use his ability? Oh god, he probably got to 100 stress, didn't he? My bad, Popo. Sorry. I'm getting distracted trying to figure out who drinks V8 for fun. That's what it's called, right? Is there different flavors for V8? I have so many questions. V8, 100% vegetable juice. Is V8 really good for you? Is the first question when I look it up on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> um, V8 contains additives. Huh. I mean, I don't... What does V8 taste like? It tastes quite vegetal. I mean, that checks out. Okay, flavors. I need to know if there's flavors. Oh, wow! There's a whole lineup of V8 juices. We got Healthy Greens, Purple Power, Golden Goodness, and, uh... Carrot mango. Carrot mango. I wonder the guy that uh, made that one up. <laughs> He's like, what if we put carrots and mangoes together? All the other ones have like really like cute names, and then there's just carrot mango. Slowly, Healthy greens, purple gently. power, golden goodness. This is how a life is and then deep. carrot mango. <laughs> carrot mango. That's it. That's all you need to know. Surges as the enemy crumbles. It's got carrots in it, it's got mangoes in it. That's it. Um, so, am I doing well? I'm not really sure. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I'm not sure if I'm doing that well. Uh, in this battle. I'm sure I could do battle. Better? <laughs> Better? <laughs> but, uh, I wasn't, I wasn't, uh, really paying attention all that much. Let's uh, try to get my head back in the game here. Okay, heal Popo. Heal, heal, heal. Okay, you're looking like you're doing well. Oh, I thought he was gonna die this turn. Ugh. I overestimated the poison. I can't even reach the lady in the back. Aw, oh, bye Cavern, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. Have a good rest of your weekend. Throw some blight on her. 
better better <laughs> don't make fun of my lisp or is it a lisp of my pronunciation of words <laughs> growing up I had a hard time with uh, <clears throat> R's and L's R's and L's were so were so difficult for me um, growing up sometimes when I when I talk and I don't pay attention uh, to my words as much or when I get, uh, I start tripping over my words, my R's and L's are the first thing to go. Right out the window. <laughs> I was actually in speech therapy for like five years, I think? Like all of elementary school. It only took, um, my mom had to send me to like an outside person because the school speech uh, lady was just not helping me at all. And then once I got sent to an outside uh, speech, speech pathologist uh you know outside of the school system it i i uh graduated or whatever within like six months i think which is crazy Ooh, a rare antique nice very nice okay are we in the right positioning now y yes we are yes we are is v8 high sodium i think it is i mean that's what makes it drinkable, right? <laughs> All the, the salt in it. Yeah, V8's original formula has 640 milligrams of sodium per serving. That's like a lot, isn't it? Man, I do love salt, though. <laughs> Ooh, a secret room. Oh! <gasps> Secret. A secret room. I'm going there. I want to go there. Okay. Curio. Room battle. Okay. Nothing looks like the holy relic. So we're going to backtrack. Backtrack. And uh, go into the secret room. You have an army of uh, undead crabs at your disposal in Diablo 3, Krabby. <laughs> You don't want to make the crab nation angry. If only treasure could staunch All the right. flow of otherworldly corruption. You know, treasure helps though. <laughs> treasure can't make our situation better. Um, oh wait, no. Treasure, treasure can make our situation better. That's what I was trying to say. I ended up saying the opposite. <laughs> Money's nice. Okay, take those things. What is that? A bag of uh, tomatoes? Mmm. Mmm. No. No, it's Dismas's head. Fantastic. <laughs> it's literally a head. That's terrifying. Alright, I want to get rid of Skeleton Key. Hopefully I won't regret that so we can pick up more money. We're getting a lot of money from this. Which is good. Alright. The party is hungry. The party shall eat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you gotta watch... Watch the sodium. Yeah, I try not to eat too much right before bed. That's why I only drink... I only drink tea. And I've tried, uh... Does anybody drink war warm milk before bed? I try drinking warm milk before bed, but I, uh... I, I have mixed feelings about it. Aren't kids only... I don't know. Is that is that what you give, like, a kid if they can't sleep? You give them some warm milk? Like, I stick I stick milk in a mug, and then I put it in the microwave, and it doesn't taste that great. <laughs> Am I doing it wrong? Do I need to put over the stove? Or do or is that just weird to try to drink uh, heated milk? Because I could have sworn... I could have sworn heating up milk and drinking it was a thing. I know that you can put milk in tea, and then obviously that's heated, but it's just warm milk. Nothing in, in it. <laughs> it's not hot chocolate. It's not in tea. Just milk. <laughs> if you wanted to feel like a kid and you'd try. <laughs> oh, yes. I've heard of that, too. <laughs> 
Oh, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and start poisoning. They act as a sedative? <gasps> they do? Wait, can warm milk, like, knock me out? <laughs> that would be fantastic. I, sometimes I have a hard time sleeping. Especially when I'm excited about something. I, uh, sometimes I take sleeping pills. Not that often, but... Sometimes sleeping is hard. Uh, okay. Let's try to knock back this guy so he can't move. Beautiful. And then we will throw some poison on him. Not that strong. <laughs> if it was that strong, they'd probably have to put like a warning label on it. <laughs> like warning, don't heat up this milk or it'll knock you out. Don't, don't work, you know, uh, What's the label that's on, like, uh, drinks and stuff like that? Don't operate heavy machinery after drinking. It says that on, like, a lot of, uh, medicines, too. On, like, a lot of pain medicine. And I know a lot of people just take me pain medicine and then they, you know, drive. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a, that's a little bit, that's a little bit nerve-wracking, right? How many people really read the... You know, the side effects and stuff on, on, like, bottles of medicine and stuff. I try not to or else I just get too anxious. <laughs> and then I need more medicine. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, there's, it's, it's crazy. Wow, we got a lot of blight on these guys. That is pretty cool. Let's try to blight this guy. How come this isn't working? There we are. Now it's working. Alright, the archers should all be down in, like, a round or two. Narcotic milk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh man, our antiquarium in antiquarium needs some heels. Aw, bye plastic. I'm glad you're here to see me open the package. Thank you again for the tea. Have a good time at work. Or, or as much of a good time as you can have. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Um, two. Or I can attack him. Uh, I should be doing, uh... I should bolster at the start of every fight. I don't know why I always forget to do that. Okay. Ooh, bl we debuffed him. Nice. Very nice, okay. Noxious blast. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Alright, and then we'll do a repost and then have Popo kind of be in the front lines attacking everybody. Oh, you're guarding your friend, are you? Alright, good luck with that when you get poisoned, my man. Heal Grouchette. We don't gr want Grouchette to die twice now. Grouchette was our uh, plague doctor that we brought back from the dead last stream. I'm glad to have him back. A singular strike. I mean, I guess he is kind of annoying even though he's gonna die soon, huh? <laughs> Our cause unites us. Nice. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Um, about heroes? Uh, I don't mind if you say something like about a hero that I have. I just don't want to be spoiled about any heroes that I don't have. So if you if you see that I have a hero and that I'm able to do something, I don't mind that. It's just uh. You know, spoiling things that I've never seen before, that sort of thing. But if I miss something, yeah, you can feel free to, you know, tell me more more about something that's right in front of me. <laughs> Thank you for asking, by the way. I appreciate it. Alright, let's do heal party. 
Oh, I thought somebody came back to life for a second. I forgot there was a body there. Got kind of scared. Oh, beautiful crit. Oh, yes. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, nervous stab. Is broken. About the, the antiquarian? Is that... Oh, yeah, he's fairly new on my team. Yeah, I don't know too much about the antiquarium. Like, his uh, skills and stuff like that. I definitely need to read through it some more. Is there, like, a skill that's really good on the antiquarian that I should uh, consider using in my team? Um, three bandages. That's pretty nice. Hold on. How much do we have left of the dungeon? Not that much. Uh... If we camp, though, we won't be able to grab the items. 15 gold each. Get rid of that. How much is this? It doesn't tell us. Oh, well. I got rid of our key, didn't I? <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> it's trapped. I deserve that. <laughs> Walked right into danger. All right. Let's go ahead and use the firewood. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. Okay, we are going to go ahead and eat and two foods fine in case we need a snack um, prevent nighttime ambush perfect that's what i want here's a random supply item minus 50 percent stress only cost one. Oh, that's for battles dang it <laughs> Has a good passive effect. Oh, okay. I'll take a look at her character. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I haven't heard that sound effect in a long time. I always like have the the inclination to echo whatever I hear. Like I want to go dun dun dun. Back at it. <laughs> Buff self, nervous stab. I mean, the first thing I do when I look get a new hero is I look up at their abilities up he abilities up here. <clears throat> is that what you're referring to, Void? Attack, blight. She could buff herself, but then it pushes her back. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Bypass stealth. Yeah, you can tell me. I'm interested to know. Buff target plus five dodge. Invigorating vapors? Hmm. Produce random trinket. Oh, is this the one where uh, you get better loot drops or something? Hold the gold in your bag and gets you more treasure. Okay, yes. I have heard somebody mention that before. As, like, the only good thing about the Antiquarian. I think I remember someone saying that. Okay. Um, Self-medicate. No. Hmm. One companion plus ten accuracy. Plus ten dodge. We'll probably give that to you. Pray. Oh, yeah. That's nice. You can do that. Mm-hmm. Oh, not enough camping points. Darn. Okay, can anybody... You can remove disease. Uh, how about you just produce an item? Holy water! Yay! Alright, and then we'll rest. Okay, so it's good that we're getting a lot of gold then, because then we can get more. Got it. That is good to know about the Antiquarian. We are going to go north, because I think that might be where the last holy relic is. Holy snap! Oh my god! Look at those big guys! Two gargoyles and a slavering ghoul, which is a new enemy. I sound way too happy about it. <laughs> Alright, bring it! I'm ready to poison y'all. Okay. Five damage. Let's see, can we get even more poison on him? Seven. Okay. That gargoyle in the back will die in two turns, so we're gonna start focusing on some other guys. Ugh, horror is horrible. Do do do. <laughs> no, I wouldn't uh, consider it spoiling. 
I appreciate the the reminder. It's actually something I have heard before. I just forgot. So I'm glad to be reminded of it. Okay, sweet Another light. One Another one bites the dust. Bum, bum, bum. Another one bites the dust. Another one gone. Alright, um... Force guard by an ally. You can start buffing him up. Oh, man. Oh, okay. He's going after our healer, that jerk. Howl. Ugh, this horror stuff is bad. The abyss returns oh, even man. the boldest gaze. <sighs> okay. Can we stun him? I don't want him to keep doing that. He resisted. Ugh. Really? Well struck. Okay, we can get your repost. Repost. Stacking. 11 damage for three rounds. Awesome. Ah! Oh, no. no, stop! We gotta do something. Um. Stun. Please stun him. There we go. So, uh, can we stun both of them? Yes, we can. And then it makes it brighter in here as well, which is good. A decisive pummeling. All right. Yep. This is, this is, uh, this fight is done and over. Over with. Um, yeah, nothing to really fix, uh, our, our Impressive. horror, though. Hold this item for me. Yeah, you hold that. Perfect. And then we're able to hold the sapphire. Beautiful. And journal page. Our purpose was to desecrate their animalistic shrines and thus disperse the f swine folk, but soon we came across an artifact. This is far beyond the crude fetishes crafted by the pig men. It looked as if obsidian had been grown and twisted into a dark symbol of worship. It cradled a pul pulsing red orb, glowing with malevolent light. Cuthbert, Bolerlin, and I hesitated, but thrice damned Mazir, driven by crazed impulse, thrust his torch in a hidden receptacle and thus sealed our fate. I think we've read this before. I believe this is uh, what happens when you put the torch into that one altar and then like that eldritch horror guy uh, with all the tentacles comes out. I accidentally summoned him in, like, uh, I think my first or second stream of this game, and we barely got out with our lives, so. <laughs> I can't grab it, though. Um, maybe we should grab, uh, portrait, emerald, um, I never know what to get rid of, so I won't get rid of anything. <laughs> Nothing must be left. Oh, God. Don't get trapped in there. Everyone's claustrophobic. <laughs> Can we put some holy water on this? No. Bandages. Nope. All right, Grouchette. Good resisting. All right, scouting ahead. Quest location. Perfect. All right. It's going to be all over soon. That anemic is not good. All right. These guys only have 10 health, huh? But they have high... Uh, Protection, 50%. That's why we don't do too much damage to them. Alright, so 
So we'll have him protect. And then we can also have him repost. Or we can have him bolster the team. Let's see that. So everyone's buffed. It has high dodge. Uh, let's go ahead and possibly, I guess, do judgment on one of them. Maybe the one in the back. I hardly ever use judgment. I should use it more. Okay. Use Noxious Blast on the one in the middle. Great dodge. So many flurry of claws. <laughs> He's gonna die next round of poison anyway, so let's try to get the guy in the back. Alright, I wanna do some retribution now. So many buffs, I love it. Okay. Two to four damage. Woo! <laughs> nice! Very nice! I love I love having a Vestal. I love having a, a good old fashioned uh, healer on the team. But nothing better. Fantastic fight. 1,250. I'm taking that. Alright, time to go into the last room. Oh, I forgot to switch out the Plague Doctor. Whoops! Well, he can th still throw his uh, Blight Bombs from back here, so that's okay. Seven damage per turn. Vestal's getting kind of stressed. Is uh, Antiquarian your favorite uh, hero void? What would you say your favorite hero is? I really like, uh, what is it, the High Wayman, and I like the Vestal. Um, who else do I like? Oh, my favorite is the Houndmaster. I just really like his design, and I love, you know, uh, the bleed. The bleed effect that the Houndmaster does. It's fantastic. All right, time to bolster the team. Ooh, dodge. I'd like to think that uh, she dodged because Popo boosted the team. That's what I want to believe. <laughs> All right, sounds good, boy. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. Have a good rest of your evening. Tempting Goblet. Good dodge, good dodge. Um, Precision and let's get power. him next. A time to perform beyond and then we can get ready with the repost. Alright, nice. That bone guy can't move, but... We are gonna get hit by a rend of the old god pretty soon here, I think. That is in our future. Ooh, very nice. Oh, there we go. Even better. All right, use judgment to finish him off. Ooh, all right. <laughs> this expedition at least Vestal success. only. Ooh. What is this? Plus 20% max HP, but minus 10% damage. It's nice to have more HP. Hmm. I mean, we can always just take it. 
Yeah, let's take it for possibly to use later. And then let's get rid of that. We're gonna have to make some more space. <laughs> uh, get rid of the food. There we go. Woo! I hope we made a lot of money. Tokens of hope. Recovered from the encroaching dark. Beautiful, beautiful. Got lots of deeds and lots of uh what's it called? The like the head busts. Weak grip on life. Ugh. Slow reflexes. Okay. Alright, so far so good. Advantage of this faith fueled charity. It will not last. Cloister is free, transept is free, penance hall is free. Ooh, very, very nice. Man, there is so many, so many bosses in this game. <laughs> Actually, yeah, there's a decent amount. I, I thought this whole list was uh, bosses, but it looks like. You can get people to resolve level six, so that's also another like half one third of the quests. I see, I see. All right, I am gonna go to the bathroom really quick, and then we'll do another dungeon. So I'll be right back.
guys, I'm back. Thank you for waiting. We are gonna do another dungeon or two. I was kind of looking, I was, I was looking at my Steam and I thought I had a game that required like a drawing pad to play. Um, it wasn't that art game that we played before, but I could have sworn someone gave me another art game to play. And I was kind of getting, getting the, the urge to play it. <laughs> But, uh, unfortunately, I don't have a really long list of, like, newer games. It's not Past Parteau, that art game. It was some other art game. I could have sworn. Um, but you know how Steam has that area where it's like, oh, your newest games? It's, uh, it's too far in the list to, like, be able to find it. It doesn't go back that far. So, I wish I remembered what it was called. I'm sure it's like a, a cute little thing. I don't know why I'm in a drawing mood. I, I brought my brother's uh, drawing pad again, so I do have it like available next to me. So I'm like, oh, it'd be so cool if, I'd be, if I could like play, play with it a little bit while I still have it um, for however, however long I get to borrow it, but hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what it was. Oh well. Um, and then the game I am playing tomorrow with Camel is... I guess it's called Barra, Barrow Trauma. It's like a top-down, like, shooting kind of game. It looks interesting. I guess I own it. I didn't even know I owned it. <laughs> Maybe I was gifted it a while ago. That's entirely possible. All right. Next, let's go kill the alluring siren. Oh, but first we gotta cure people of diseases and whatnot. Go in here, cure you of the fits. And who else needs to needs to kind of chill? You do. Oh, it's free. Nice. Very nice. Uh, who else needs to kind of relax? Oh, only her, really. <laughs> um, okay. So you can pray through meditation. Sounds good to me. As long, you know, it's even better when it's free. We have 30,000 gold. That is awesome. Love to see it. Uh, let's see if we can make... Uh, combat skill upgrades a little bit cheaper because I love upgrading combat skills. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, we can spend uh, spend it on combat skills though. I don't see why not. Go spend away. <laughs> Point blank shot. So he's usually like in the back or like the middle, huh? What would be another good move to do? Repost. Oh, duelist advance. You move forward and you attack. Wow. That could be fun. But this thing bypasses stealth, so maybe we should do that a little bit more, too. And it makes him stronger. Yeah, there we go. So Dismas is looking really good right about now. Stunning blow. Level that up. Durvel's already all leveled up. You see, we're already spending like 10k without even blinking. <laughs> it happened so quickly. Yeah. Brow chat. There you go. Pevrel. The heels for you. Popo. Marillac. What does Marillac use? Bola. Oh, the sniper shot she uses a lot. Oh, okay. And then the bola is not does do like a knockback kind of move. Very nice. Alright, I think that's good. Alright, we will embark and we are gonna try to kill the alluring siren. So that's gonna be interesting. Hopefully the gimmick doesn't kill me. <coughs> it's really like getting to know the different enemies. 
because we had this one guy where we could only kill him if uh, we kept stunning him or something like that. So if we didn't have somebody to stun, we would have like all died. So maybe we should have somebody to, to stun in this party. <laughs> now that I think about it, that'd probably be a good idea. You can stun the first two people in the party. That could be nice. Make people bleed out. You can cure bleed on yourself. Iron Swan. Yeah, that looks pretty good. What's your name? Colum Columbus. Looks good. What do you What do you work best with? Stun. Stun. Oh, you just make people bleed. Okay. And then you're the one who marks people. Got it. Got it. Grout Shed is here. We can move her all the way to the back if we want to. She'd still be able to do all of her stuff. She can also heal, but very, like, small heals. Might want somebody who's a little bit better at healing for this. Dazzling Light. Yeah, so maybe put her there, and then we can have maybe somebody like Durville, like, in the front to do, like, bleed and whatnot. We're in the semi-front here. Alright. Kind of a random team comp, but everybody's, like, really strong by themselves, so working together should be even better, right? Right. <laughs> sure. Um. Yeah, this is good. Okay. Do that medium dungeon. But we shouldn't go hungry, so we'll get lots of food. Two shovels and a ton of torches. Looks good. Let us embark. In financial desperation, I struck a bargain with the ancient things that surfaced in search of sacrifice when the moon was right. Their price was the delivery of an obscure idol, and one other item of more troubling portent. The pact struck. My newfound accomplices slipped silently beneath the brackish water. A fearful stirring at the edge of the torchlight betrayed a familiar witness and gifted me with malign inspiration. I always wondered what became of the unfortunate little whiff. I guess we'll find out. We will find out. Okay, so... Which way should we go first? Uh, I guess we should go... To the right. Then we can backtrack. We're gonna have to since we didn't get a scouting. Eh, just ignore it. I don't want to have to worry about a fish. Okay, nothing in here. Ooh, good scout. Nothing in there, but we got to get to that last room, so we're going to move forward. And we are going to pop a torch. So that it's very, very bright. Do you think? Quakes. Great bleed right off the bat, all of them. Ugh, shocker is very annoying, especially for one of our strongest team members. Alright, hold strong. Stress wave. Okay, let's go ahead and do. Maybe try to stun this fish. Yeah. Then he'll die in two turns so we don't have to attack him anymore. And then we will... Let's see. Maybe 6 to 13 damage on him. Do a good deal of damage on him right now. The brine! Ah. Oh. Sure, healing the jellyfish. At least he can't stun us this turn. Everyone's still bleeding. 
the Hound Master will just do another bleed again, I'd imagine. Get everybody again with that same move. And then, four damage. He's gonna die. We need to target the last guy, which is the healer. Or we need to target Jelly Man. Jellyfish Man. Uh, let's see. I mean, she can't really do either. She can only really stun. Sniper shot. Okay. Kill the guy in the back. Woo! That was awesome. Alright. Heal her. Wait. No. Heal yourself. Can you heal yourself? Huh. That's weird. Oh well. I guess you'll do a group heal. <laughs> I don't know why that self heal wasn't working. I hope that's not a... isn't gonna be a pattern. Alright, go ahead and shock me. <clears throat> good heal, good heal. Then we can keep having them heal themselves. Beautiful. Lock of patience. Ooh. Abomination only. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so you move back there and everybody should be good now to keep moving forward. Ooh, good scout. Good scout. Room battle. Mm. With a curio. Should we go check it out? I mean, it might be nice to do a couple more battles. You know, not just do what we came here to do, but uh, get some extra treasure along the way. You can call me greedy. <laughs> I might be a little bit. Oh, Lobster Man! <laughs> oh, I love, I love the Ewer Crusher. He is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if we can get that guy that stresses us out, uh, you know, out of here early, that'd be great. Come on, come on. Six to 13 damage. Woo! Beautiful, beautiful. I mean, he can still stress us out, too. But, uh, at least there's not two of them stressing us out. That's not what I need. Okay, we gotta bleed, but that's okay. We can heal ourselves. I think we have an ability that can heal us from bleed. and heal, attack and heal yourself for 30. And then hopefully finish that guy off. Them all. Can we get a stun off on him? 70% block. We'll see. If we get lucky. No. Alright, that's okay. Exposed Ugh. To a killing Ow. Blow. 16 damage every round? Holy crud. Oh, I should have healed that. I definitely should have healed that uh, bleed. We have a we have bandages. What am I doing? Oh, man. That is rough. Ah. Uh, oh my gosh, that's so scary. I need more heals than that. Here, hurry, hurry. Cure. Oh, she can only heal on herself. Why did I use the bandages? I already forgot. Oh, please don't die. That'd be so dumb. 
Okay, alright. Don't don't attack anybody. Ugh, the stun didn't work either. Oh no. No 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 no. Oh man, my own ignorance is is what's gonna get me killed here. Oh gosh. Um A singular I mean good crit, but still our healer's in trouble. The thing she's not he's not pinching her. She's gonna be on death's door. A hand's breadth from becoming oh. <laughs> Heal, heal, heal. Heal yourself. Why did I use a bandage? I heard he forgot. Oh, I forgot how this game works. Man. A decisive bubbling. Playing on extra hard mode because I forget how to do basic things. Keep attacking and keep bleeding. Three to six damage. Uh, three to six damage. Will that possibly finish him off? Only if he gets six damage. Ooh, crit. Very nice. Okay, please have your turn. Okay. Okay. Bandage. I should have done that like a million years ago. <laughs> Alright, then heal yourself for 11 and we're done with the fight. That was, that was a really, that was a really embarrassing fight. I'm so sorry. <laughs> for that dismal display. Oh, okay. Crack that oyster open. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. Oh man. Alright, let's walk back now. We still have to beat the boss. But hopefully getting her all healed up again won't be too much of an issue. Since she can just work on healing herself all the time now. We're backing up so people are getting a little bit stressed. That's understandable. I'm glad there's only digested fish in there. We'll probably go to the left side next. Because I don't want to overlook any area we've been to before. We are eating a lot of food. That's okay. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only I highly the doubt that the boss is going to be this close to the main door where we came in, but we can try. Oh no! Our healer! <laughs> Watch out! Oh girl, you are right in front of everything. Good thing they that they're ignoring you. Can we get a knockback? Very nice. Move to the back. Move to the back, healer, please. You gotta work on healing yourself. Oh, the bleed is gonna start again. Diminished. Oh, man. Alright, try to stun these guys. Slow them down a little bit. Man, I don't remember Lobster Man being so annoying when it comes to, to bleeds, but those his claws ain't lying. They do hurt. I should probably be focusing on uh, doing damage, huh? Oh, leave her alone! Good dodge, good dodge. Okay, use your last bandage and then heal yourself. But she can't heal herself, and I don't know why. Minus 33% healing received, is that why? Hmm. The wounds of war that is can be really healed, not great. But never hidden. Mm. Great job. Even better if it actually made her bleed. Made that enemy bleed. Oh man. <laughs> Their formation is broken. 
Maintain the offensive. Hmm. Stun? Go for the stun, which is 30% chance, or try to heal ourselves in a... Oh, I have to move back. Okay, I'm going to move back so I can start healing myself. That's why it wasn't working. Okay, that makes a lot more sense now. Uh, let's go ahead and attack him. Hey, Jimmy, thank you so much for the host. How are you doing, Jimmy? Oh, no! Stop trying to kill her! Oh, my gosh. Attack, attack, attack. We need to heal her. She's gonna die. She's gonna bleed out. Um, hmm. I don't know what to do. I know, I'm trying not to die, Vermillion. Oh, our poor, poor healer. Gosh, I feel so bad for this poor girl. Oh, three? That's not enough. Yeah, just everyone needs to to heal her. She's gonna be on death's door in a second again. Man, we've had this healer for such a long time too. So I don't I don't particularly wanna lose her. Oh man. Yeah, death's door is just a moment away. And she's been really lucky so far. Oh, I can't watch. Oh no! Oh! Everell, <laughs> please! Please stay with me! Stay with me, girl! Yes, heal yourself for nine! You only take eight damage every turn. Oh my gosh. Please stay with me. Gosh. Heal, 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 heal! Just keep on healing! Alright, that guy is dead. I feel dead. <laughs> Marvelous aura. Okay. Per Pebral, go up there. It inspires you? Great. You know, I'm glad you're not stressed out while you're dying. Uh, I don't even know if I want to kill the siren anymore. We haven't even gotten close to the siren. And I don't know anything about the siren, so. Uh, thank goodness we're scouting. There is nothing over there for us. Just gotta back, back up. Oh man, what am I gonna do? Um, we gotta, we have to camp. That's our the only way. I mean, or we can just heal up once we get into another fight. One of the two. I guess, I guess we'll heal up until we get to another fight. Hopefully I don't regret that decision. Uh, let's see. Get rid of the citrine for the gold. Good dodge. All right, we gotta start healing ASAP. ASAP. At least there's not another big old lobster man here ready to, to you know, get me with his claw. And <laughs> bleed. Heal, 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 heal yourself, please. I'm just gonna have her attack to push these guys back. I mean, I could have had her heal. I could have had the our arbalist heal our vestal, but I think damage damage is good. Fantastic dodge, fantastic. Now, can we stun both of these guys? We can. We can. Good. The thrall is still. The Thrall is, uh, still undercover. He's in, like, the darkness. Such a Ow. Assault cannot be ouch, left ouch, ouch. Okay. Precision and power. Yeah, we're gonna have to get that guy in the back with, uh, you know, uh, AoE kind of moves. Alright, 
he will die next turn, which is good. Let's do a party heal. Then we can go ahead and try to finish that guy off. Give them no quarter. Awesome. All right. So far, so good. We're gonna get our healing back up here. Well struck. Everyone should be dying here. Okay. Can I get yet another stun? No. Great is the right. weapon that cuts on its own. Heal. Heal and a buff. Heal party with a crit on yourself. That's all I could ever ask for. Ow. And he's bleeding. Okay. That's alright. That's alright. It's just two damage every three turns. You can heal yourself. All right, we're all almost to full health again. <laughs> awesome. Oh man, he's gonna get one more turn, really? Good dodge, good dodge. She's gonna heal herself. All right. We're just gonna do a little bit of healing for this last turn. A momentary abatement. Whew. Yes. All right, we're back on track. As victories mount, we are so not gonna die. <laughs> All right, plus four dodge, plus twenty, minus twenty percent move resist. Okay. Um. I mean, that seems pretty useful. Uh, what do we get rid of? Uh, lock. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. All right, time to scout. The boss is not around here yet. We should uh, go ahead and rest pretty soon. Heirlooms, nice. Love that. The light, the promise of safety. Okay, now we don't know what's gonna be coming up. The room, the boss room could be to our right. We only have four rooms left, so I think now would be a good time to just buff ourselves up and uh, get ready for the big Seven fight. In the dark. The battle We're just getting half of our food in case we need to snack. In case we need a little bit of a snack. Um, party. Minus five accuracy. Oh, but minus 20 stress. Nope. Don't want to do that. <laughs> Prevents nighttime ambush. Good. Scouting chance would be good. Minus 10 stress. Oh, yeah. And then less stress over time. Old companions plus two speed. I do like that. I do like that. All right, that's it. Um, we can just use encourage, it looks like. All right, encourage her. Feeling good. As the light gains We're extra purchase, speedy right now. Spirits are lifted and purpose is made clear. Ahead we go, ow. <laughs> Drops, Minus six wait. speed! Months Twelve rounds! Oh my blood. gosh. She's so slow now. That sucks. <laughs> if only treasure could staunch the flow. Poor luck. Otherworldly corruption. Alright, regular room it looks like. Bring it. Let's see, we can use 
judgment. To do like a little bit of damage here. And then we do a knockback or something. Sniper shot. Yeah, let's just do yeah, that knockback ability looks good. These guys are hidden now. I forget when they become unhidden. I think it's when they attack us. I think that's the thing. Then they're not hidden anymore. No, they're still hidden. Can not be hit by attacks targeting only this slot? That's gonna be an issue. Hopefully the bleed will take care of them. Stress wave. are pretty fast, huh? Speed 7. Yeah. And then 11 for those other guys that heal. Oh, it's being brought forward. That's okay. Oh, bad, bad dodge. Alright. Most of them should die from, uh, Bleed soon. A momentary abatement. The slow death. All right, just that last guy. Him. Call of the deep. Oh, he's is he healing? No, he's not. Okay, I thought he was gonna heal his friend, but I guess not. We're in the clear. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Just get back into position. All right. Um, is there anything else I can do? I guess we can see if we can get any bonuses here by like healing ourselves and whatnot. Sometimes if you get critical heal. Then it uh, kind of uh, de-stresses out the team, like it makes them feel more confident, a which makes sense. Victory, but a victory grab that, and then what else do we want to grab? I don't know. I don't really need that particular trinket. We can use the shovel on this and Finding get some more money. Is only the first test. All right, now, now we know that the boss home. is somewhere in that hallway. We still have like two dog treats to use, so maybe the next fight we'll have our hound master use the dog treats. I always forget to use them. Not, I'm not great at using items. I need to get better. Ugh, the lobster man. <laughs> I used to love him. I still kind of, I still kind of love him just because of his, uh, you know, uh, character design and whatnot. But the bleed is annoying. He is certainly annoying. Stress wave. All right. Can I stun you before you cause trouble for me? Nope. Can I stun you now? Nope. Um. I only can attack the guy in the front. Oh man. He's such a he's such a tank, man. It's a good dodge though. Stun, stun. <laughs> All right, it's only only this big lobster guy left. When I was uh, going on my hike today, I didn't see any lobsters, but uh, I did see like some crabs, like a lot of crabs that were on the shore of uh, I think it was like a river. Um, it was on the shore of a river, and. Some of the crabs had like those huge claws. I saw two of them battling it out. It was pretty cool. 
It also uh, was a river that contained uh, the fish that, like the flying fish that jump out of the water. It was so, so cool to see. Every time a fish jumped out of the water, my friends and all, uh, my friends and I all cheered. We're like, woo! Everyone was looking at us like we were crazy. There was a lot of people on the, the hiking trail today. Yay, we stunned him! Woo! <laughs> I'm so happy about that fact. In Radiance, may we find victory. Yeah, this guy. Too much health. Can we just mark him for the future? Make it harder for him to dodge. Title slam. Ow. Ah! <laughs> Pushed all the way back. Our healer's in the front now. Oh man, we're all mixed up here. Good crit. Good, good crit. Mm, Alright. Dodge. Hmm. I'm just we gotta move to the front, I guess. We gotta move the back. You gotta. Oh, what's the point of. Oh, man. That was a waste of a turn. Let's move back to push somebody else to the front. Alright, we'll be able to fix it the now, though. The beast, the greater oh. The glory. oh, man. Okay, you go there. You go. Wait. Wait, I'm getting myself confused. You were here. You were here. You were here, and you were here. I probably did way too many movements, but there we go. We made it eventually. We got it. We got it eventually. That's all that matters. Ooh, a fish carcass. Oh, gosh. Don't put your hands in there. <laughs> no, the red plague. Ugh, every time. All right. I gotta go to the bathroom really quick. I feel like we're getting very close to the alluring, alluring siren. So when I get back, we are gonna kill that lady. So, be right back in, a, in like a minute or so.
my cat was trying to follow me. <laughs> we don't want her in this room because uh, she will eat all of the paper in this room. <laughs> That's not good. She will literally eat my homework if I had any. The match is struck. So I also, after I went to the bathroom, I made myself some... Uh, you can't tell because of the mug. I don't know why I thought lifting it up would reveal what the contents inside. Um, and I would show you what the contents inside, but I would probably spill everywhere. Uh, so I'll just tell you. It's uh, it's warm milk. <laughs> I put this uh, mug of cold milk in the microwave, heated it up for a minute, and now I have some warm milk. I'm hoping it'll make me feel tired because tomorrow we're playing uh, Barrow trauma with uh, Camel, and he said we're gonna play at 7 a.m. And I, I foolhardily agreed. <laughs> and now I'm regretting agreeing because that's early. So I gotta start uh, calming myself down and drinking some hot milk in an attempt to uh, lull myself into a deep sleep. Can we stun? We can stun. Beautiful. Can we do a hunter's mark on him? Great, great. He's probably gonna heal his friend, right? No, he's gonna try to stun me. Alright, that works. That works. Spear fishing. Hey, damage. It's nothing to sneeze at, but we can always heal ourselves. Snail moves very, very slowly, huh? Good dodge, good dodge. Alright, try to get some more bleed on these guys. Oh, the snail's gonna die soon. He's not gonna die soon. Hmm. Can we stun you again, or is that asking too much? Nope. Perfect. <laughs> is going super super well for us right now a lot of these guys should die from their bleed next turn except uh, for the wide mouth and the bulwark but the oracle would die so that's good just need to do one damage on him hmm. yeah we can get him with an aoe Sweet, sweet. And then we will go ahead and uh we can just heal our friend, I suppose. The blood. Give her a boost. Sweet crit. Oh, is that a is that a bleed? Yeah it is. Mm, you can kill cure bleed on yourself, so go ahead and do that. May signal for more. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's try to get rid of him as soon as possible then. You're really good at getting stunned, huh? Ugh, bad mess. He's gonna call for more people. Come on, come on. Ugh! <laughs> we can't hit anything right now. Oh my gosh. Please. Please, please, please. I'm wondering why she can't use some of her moves. Is she in the wrong spot? No, she's not. Weird. It didn't look like she could use half of her moves when I selected her. Alright. We got the food. We got success. some more jewels. And, uh, eh, we'll pass on that. Medicinal herb thingy. Okay. What's in the hidden compartment? Wealth more measure. money! 
Awarded to the brave and the so fool much hardy money. Alike. Come on, boss. Where are you? All the way at the end of the dungeon. That's where you are. We used our... Oh, we used our key already. That's so annoying. I guess we can still go in this room, though, and check it out. What a pity. At least we got a little bit of something. Um... What do we want to get rid of? I guess the emeralds. Because then we can get 1,600 and the emeralds would have only been 1,200, right? As long as you don't pick up any more em emeralds, we're still in the green, I think. Uh, alright. Alright, here comes the stuns. Good dodge. Stun the whole group of them. Even better. Slavering Ghoul is the one we kind of have to worry about in terms of uh, him. What's it called? In terms of him making us horrified. Uh. Alright, he's gonna howl at us next turn. We gotta prepare ourselves. Oh, he's gonna rent. Okay. Oh, oh, never mind. I don't like that at all. <laughs> I wasn't expecting a 17 damage rent. All right, all right. Sniper shot, please. Get, get him out of here. We can stun them both. Okay, we stunned one of them. That's fine. That works. All right, Houndmaster, you're gonna be fine. We're gonna be just fine. We have a healer for this. For this exact thing. Okay. Heal yourself. And then we can heal some more. And then we can have an another turn to even heal. You are not gonna die next turn, so I gotta attack you with that. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, this guy's a goner. How much damage do you have left? Nine. Three times three is nine. Okay. Another rend. But we resisted everything. Good. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit unless All right, what do we get? Jute tapestry. I've never seen this before. A coarse, time-worn weaving bearing invocations of unutterable alienage. Unutterable alienage. Um God, we have a lot of money, but this is worth way more than money, so just grab that. And we'll leave everything else. Uh, we don't have any bandages for you, sorry. So you're gonna have to take nine damage. What's in here? A fortune waiting to be More spent. crests. Um. Oh my gosh. I mean, we can get rid of the shovels. Man, we've explored this entire area. That's insane. Okay, yes, the party can eat. Right before we go into that room, we're gonna have uh, maybe the Houndmaster and reward. somebody else eat a little bit more. Well okay. Alright, so you can eat the rest of the food, and then you can eat one. Alright. Alright, this is as good as it's gonna get. Let's do it. 
the the siren. Devils have remade the poor girl in their image. She is their queen and their slave. Why do I feel like we've tried to beat her before? She looks so familiar. Maybe I saw her on Smitty Smop's channel. That could be it. Um, alright. Let's just mark her right away then. I don't know what her deal is. I'm a little bit scared. Oh, she lures people to them. Was our healer going to hurt us? Ow. <laughs> this is done. Ow. Bring her back. Oh, God. Good dodge. Good dodge, guys. Oh, man. Hmm. 75% chance to or 25% chance to stun. stun. I gotta try it, you know? High tide. How long is, uh, she gonna have our friend? These waters are my home now. Ugh, oh, man. The dazzling light is so annoying. <laughs> oh, thank goodness she's back. She's back on the winning side. This thing has so much health. And our healer's gone again. It's like a good old fashioned game of tug of war. Except, uh, we just have three mangled and tired adventurers, and, uh, the other side's a beautiful siren. So, of course, of course she wants to be on the beautiful sirens team. Oh. <laughs> Man. Okay. Uh, I still want to stun. I'll stun. Come on, please. Oh, yes. Great stun on the siren. That was worth it. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Now we are going to attack both of them. Fantastic crit. Really good. And I want my healer back so bad. I need a bandage. Not, a, not unless you're on my team, ma'am. I'm not gonna heal you if you're trying to kill me. Man, what's the last time our our uh, Hellions went? I don't think she's gone, you know, fought this entire this entire fight. Mm. Oh god, this is so this fight is not going well at all. This is really bad. Stop! Stop doing it! <laughs> Give me my healer! I gotta... Okay, so I think she has the healer for one or two rounds. Oh, man. Being killed by our own... Our own flesh and blood. Our own... Our own character. Oh, my gosh. And that's M Millibel, isn't it? I love that character. This is terrible. This is going horrendously. <laughs> Alright. Just, just heal yourself really quick here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Everyone's bleeding a little bit. Damn, they resist. Okay, um... Alright, he's not gonna die. The devour hurts with the point I mean with the bleed. I'll live forever here with my love. Oh my god, don't even with me. Oh my gosh, stop healing everybody! <laughs> That's what I need you to do for my team! That's why I brought a healer! Oh my gosh. Oh I'm so stressed out. Cure blood. You just cure your own bleed. I, I can't. We can't deal with the bleed. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
I'm sorry, I have to attack everybody. Okay, that shield guy will be away next turn. Is there any way I can possibly kill this siren? Or I mean, you know, stun her. We can mark her, because she's just gonna get get our healer right back. I didn't have a stun ready. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. This is looking like a party wipe. Oh no. Can I retreat from combat? No. Oh, I'm really salty. Okay. Okay. Um. All right. Stun. Stun. No stun. She's gonna summon another guy to come help her. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. What do I do? Oh, she's... I barely have even, like, scratched the surface. And that two damage is guaranteed that Marilac's going to, uh... Marilac's gonna be on death's door next turn. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> oh, no. oh. Uh, that was a beautiful crit heal, though. That was good. I fight for love! Yeah, shush. Don't even. Don't even! I don't even care your stalwart. Many You're just gonna keep joining her stars, side. Not this one. Uh. Not today. Oh my gosh. Stop. <laughs> Please. I can't even use the the stun anymore, so. Okay, she took somebody different this time. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> she took somebody that's already kind of hurt, though. Devour. Okay, heal, 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 heal. Heal your party. Four each. Okay, that works, I guess. Oh my gosh, she has like the really good sniping moves. No! Oh no! Oh, Derville, hang in there. Oh god, we're so screwed. Oh my gosh. Go, 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 go. Make her bleed, make her bleed. Triple so on death's door. High tide. Another dumb fish guy. More blood soaks the soil, feeding the evil therein. I wanna leave. Can we go? I can't, I can't leave. I can't leave her. Oh my gosh. I mean, Durville's already dead. Durville was my favorite. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I can't even use a regular heal because she has to be in the third slot. But we don't even have three party members right now. Oh man, everything's just adding up to spell our doom right now. Your eyes clear, but for how long? See word slash. Okay, okay, okay. The bleed's gonna get you, isn't it? Okay, you gotta heal her, or else the bleed might kill our healer, and uh, then we'll be really, really dead. Even more so. Extra dead. 
Oh. <laughs> I was hoping for a critical heal. Now we're just waiting for her to use her Song of Desire to get our Arbalist back. There's a reason the Arbalist is one of my favorite. Is that? That is an Arbalist, right? Or, you know. You know, the sniper character. I, I could be wrong with the name. There's a reason why I use her so much. All I can do is heal. Wait. Go crazy. The walls close in. The shadows whisper of conspiracy. For the tides. Their healer is marked. Seventy-six percent chance to hit, and we've missed like two or three times. Oh my gosh. We are gonna get wiped. This is this is uh this is a wipe for sure. Ugh. Gosh. Compassion is a rarity in the fever pitch of battle. Did that did that howl just make us bleed? Is that what just happened? That was weird. Please have mercy on us. As life ebbs, oh gosh. The of emptiness reveal themselves. Resist, resist, please. Oh my god. Some dark spirit motivates them. Very helpful. Gosh, you're killing your own healer. Ah, oh, she's really hanging on. She's really trying to hang on. I mean, Marillac is our highest level, so I think we should just run. Retreat failed. <laughs> Only one escape is impossible. I don't care. Yeah, just leave. Just leave. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ugh. We lost, we lost two people and our hound master, most importantly. Oh, I love that hound master. Man, that sucked. I'm leaving, I am leaving. Yeah, I don't care. Stress is a shame. But not the end of things. Whew. Wow, that alluring siren. It's just too, too much, man. Even being the level we were. Dervo was level five. Ugh, oh, Dervo. Yeah, that, that was all I could do. When Dervo died, that was the end. Perhaps things are not as bad as they seem. <laughs> oh, I'm salty. I'm feeling, I am feeling that uh that famous darkest dungeon salt oh turbo <laughs> oh 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 that one hurt oh, poor turbo and his little dog is there another hound master i can i can uh have fill in <laughs> don't look like it Hmm, okay, we'll be on the lookout for another hound master. Ugh, bleh. Alright, just treat everybody who has a disease. I mean, we did get a lot of crests from that, though. So that's good. Armor, we can upgrade armor. Seven, let's see. Can we get rid of 21? Then we would have 38. Would that work? Yeah, I would. Okay, so we need 32 of these. Okay, 
So crest, we will do this, five, six, seven. Do that so we can upgrade the armor. There we go. Man. Yeah, she uses, like, your own guys against you. I don't know when I'm gonna want to fight her next. <laughs> too much. Too much for me. I mean, at least Malibus is still... We still... Oh, we didn't even bring Malibus. We brought Peverell. Who was the other person we barely saved? Oh, yeah, Marilac. I'm glad we... I'm glad we still have our Arbalist. Our level 4 Arbalist. At least we got out with something. You know. So a little something's better than nothing. Alright. We upgrade some stuff. I think. I think now would be a good. A good place to uh, end. Yes I am. I'm a little bit salty. <laughs> I'm getting all worked up and I need to start, you know, feeling sleepy. That's why I'm drinking my, you know, my, my heated, my heated milk. That sounds so weird when I say that. It'll just make me tired. Whenever I get like, uh, more awake, my chest gets red. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, I was on the edge of my seat during that battle. Oh man, that guy is so tough. There's gotta be some sort of, you know, stun team we can bring in there or something that will keep that siren from taking our men. I thought I was only going to have to worry about men, honestly. I thought it was going to be one of those things where it's like, oh, only the men get tempted by the, the siren. So I thought our healer was going to be good, honestly, and I thought I'd have to worry about the guys in our team. But nope. <laughs> the silent siren lures all. Um... Yeah, I guess, uh, I guess we'll call it then for the night. Let's, uh, find somebody to raid, shall we?